Welcome to Electron Line. We're going to continue looking at second order linear differential equations that are homogeneous and that have constant coefficients. Here we have a general expression of what a linear second order differential equation looks like. We have a y double prime term, a y prime term, and just a y term right here. The coefficients of the y prime and the y term are functions of x and the term on the right side the equal sign is also a function of x. So that's a general form of a homogeneous of a non-homogeneous second order linear differential equation. Now if we're going to allow r of x to equal 0 and then we replace the function of x instead of y prime and the function of x in front of y, if we replace those by constants the equation now looks like this. So now it's still a linear second order differential equation but the coefficients are not constants and on the right side we have a zero therefore it's also homogeneous and so for that we have a special technique to solve these type of differential equations we know that the solution will be in the form of y is equal to e to the lambda x where lambda can be found where we realize that lambda square plus b times lambda plus c equals zero now remember b and c are the coefficients in front of y prime and y and then it looks just like a quadratic equation so we can solve for lambda like a quadratic equation except in this case of course we know that a is equal to 1 because that's how we set up the equation the constant in front of y is simply equal to 1 or I should say y double prime is equal to 1 and so therefore this turns into this and that's how we will then solve for the coefficients that go on top of the exponent all right so here's the equation we're going to deal with as an example. So this is our differential equation. It's second order. It is linear. It is homogeneous. And it has constants for the coefficients here. All right. Now, how do we solve that? Well, we're going to solve for lambda, recognizing what b and c is equal to. So here, b, in this case, is equal to 1. And c is equal to negative 2. So when we plug that in here, we have lambda is equal to minus b now since b is equal to 1 we get minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b square which is 1 square minus 4 times c remember c is negative 2 and take the whole thing and divide it by 2 so we have lambda is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 times minus 2 is um, plus 8 plus 1 is 9 divided by 2 and so this can be solved so this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 3 divided by 2. And finally, we can take the both options. So we have minus 1 minus 3, that's minus 4 divided by 2, that's equal to minus 2. Or, or if I take minus 1 plus 3, that's plus 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So we have the two solutions for lambda. So we can say that lambda is equal to minus 2 or lambda is equal to 1. And that will then give us the two possible solutions for the differential equation. So therefore we can say that our first solution, we call it y sub 1, is equal to e to the minus 2 times x, because our independent variable is x, and y2 is equal to e to the 1x, or simply e to the x. So these are the two solutions to this differential equation. If you want to check, what you can do is you can go ahead and take the first derivative of this, the second derivative of this, plug it into the equation right here, and that should equal zero. Now, another way to find it is to go and say, all right, I know that this here should equal zero, so I'm going to take this equation right here and plug in b and c and see what we get. So we have lambda squared plus b, b is equal to one, so that's plus lambda, plus c, that would be minus 2 is equal to 0. Now you can look at this and say, well, I can factor that. We really don't have to go to the quadratic equation technique if we can simply factor this. If we factor this, we can write this as the product of lambda, uh, that would be minus 2. Oh, no, I'll make that plus 2. Lambda plus 2, lambda minus 1 equals 0. So if this times this equals 0, that means either lambda plus 2 equals 0, which means lambda equals negative 2, or lambda minus 1 equals 0, which means lambda equals 1. So that's how we can find the exponents as well, the coefficients of the exponents. So you can either use the quadratic formula, or we can simply say, hey, I can factor this, and I can find the coefficients of the exponents that way. So anyway, these are the two solutions then of this particular differential equation. And that's how we do that.